Hello guys, and we're here today with another very interesting deck profile. We're here today with some ABCs, yes, ABCs, because they just came out not too long ago, and I'm thinking of actually doing two separate deck profiles with ABCs. This is the Galaxy Gold, so I just kind of looked at this deck real quick and was like, Light Machine Time Monsters, alright, this deck, it has to play Cyber Dragons. Now, there's another build that I was thinking about, which was pretty much just a more Rank 4 spammy deck, because I do believe you can search these guys out with Gilligan, so we're thinking more of a Rank 4 version with the Gold and Silver Gadgets. So, there's going to be two different builds so stay tuned for on monday when we go over a different build i will admit that i have no clue what most meta decks are playing like like meta builds meta variants but this is what i think works with this deck and this deck is actually pretty great like it has a great otk potential and like honestly this format is so otk with blue eyes um, metal foes like unless you're playing even most monty specter builds like tend to go for more OTK build because they're just like, oh, Omega Ultimate is all can make Crystal Ring. Like, so this entire format is OTK, so I'm not really worried about back row, besides the occasional Solemn Strike, which is why we're playing two Twin Twister. Maybe should be at three, but I wanted to play Triple Terror for me because this card is so key to the deck. Anyways, let's go straight in. So Gemini and Garnet, we're playing Gemini and Garnet because you can fusion summon this guy through a contact fusion by banishing cards in your graveyard. So it's just like more foolish burials, please. These guys are all light monsters. It helps out with your Cyber Dragon engine because you can dump a Cyber, Dra uh, Cyber Dragon core and then use Cyber Repair Plant or jump an actual Cyber Dragon. Um, and so playing the Gemini has really helped. It gets you an extra normal summon so that can help you get out multiple of your monsters to the field. So if you do decide to go for a rank four play or if you want to, you can tribute it off for one of your level fives and be able to maybe go for a rank five play. So. It's definitely helpful having that extra normal summon in the deck. Triple Cyber Dragon, pretty standard. Um, you just you can summon him out if you control no monsters and your opponent controls a monster. But besides that, he's just there so that way he can hit the graveyard or you can use him to make Chimera deck. Uh, and then Galaxy Soldier. Galaxy Soldier is great in this deck because you just have to discard one other light monster from your hand. Special summon this card in defense position. Then if you special summon him, you can search out another Galaxy Soldier. So he's a very easy, he's a two, he's a three card Infinity Dragon because you discard two light monsters and he searches one. So, um, oh, he searches the other Galaxy Soldier. So he's just a three card Infinity, which is very great for this deck, just being able to plop down Infinity very easily. And we're playing two of each of the actual ABC monsters. These guys are all very nice because they're union monsters. So if they can, if you have two on the field, you can target another um, light machine type monster you control, which is practically any of your machines. And if it would be destroyed, that this card is destroyed instead. And if these cards are destroyed, they get an effect. This guy searches for a union monster. This guy special summons a union monster from your hand, and this guy adds a union monster from your graveyard to your hand. So it's definitely very nice just being able to equip these guys to them, and you can still contact fusion with them equipped. Which is honestly pretty great for the mirror match, because if you're going against another ABC deck and they summon out like C and equip B or something, plop down Cyber Dragon Infinity and then you can make a mirror deck. They will get their effects, unfortunately, but you get rid of them pretty easily and he comes out with 3000 attack because you can still use these guys which I found interesting at least last time I checked um, so double maxi pretty standard just more consistency uh, triple triple cyber dragon core searches out this guy which searches out practically any monster in your deck except for your gem knights and your maxis so very very helpful he's a cyber dragon while he's on the field so that's all the better and if he's in the grave you can banish him to summon out a cyber dragon from your deck cyber dragon monster so that's another core or another Cyber Dragon. So definitely very useful, definitely very useful. And then Fusion Conscription. Fusion Conscription can search out the ABCs or Cyber Dragon himself, so that's very, actually very great. You just can't normal or special summon or use monsters with that effect for this turn, but it really doesn't matter because you're just going to try to either ditch them for Galaxy Soldier or just try to fusion summon with them. So it just really helps with being able to do more searching. Part of desires, like honestly, with how expensive this card is, I kind of feel like I should take it out of my decks because I don't feel anybody's going to have the money to play this. But if you do, yeah. If you don't, um, Solemn Strike is a good alternative. Um, I still want to keep with like the OTK centric um, type build this is. So maybe another Power Bond Twin Twister. It's whatever you want, guys. It's whatever you want. If you can't get this card, um, you could play Triple Reckless Greed for all I care. If you want more consistency. Power Bond. Power Bond is where we really get the OTK in this deck. Because this card is just absolutely insane. 
How so? Send from your hand or your side of the field to the graveyard. Fusion materials that list on a machine type fusion card. Then special summon that fusion monster from your extra deck. It gains attack equal to its original attack. So it has double attack. And then during the end phase, the player who activated this card takes damage for the original attack of the monster. But hopefully you don't get to an end phase, you kill them right then and there. Because this guy is absolutely insane. And I'll get to him when I get to the extra deck. So Upstar Goblin is Upstar Goblin. Just more consistency. Um, terraforming. Great card to banish off of Desires, but nonetheless we really want to get to Union Hanger. Because Union Hanger gets rid of two cards from our deck. Because you can search for an ABC and then... You can summon it, and then it equips an ABC from your deck, so that's two cards gone from your deck. That's very great with uh, deck thinning, and it helps with getting out your ABC busters, because now you have two out of the three materials needed. All you have to do is get another one to the field or to the graveyard, and you can summon them out. Foolish Burial, again, just get another one to the graveyard. Uh, Cyber Repair Plant, unfortunately, you need a Cyber Dragon in your graveyard, but Cyber Dragon Core and Cyber Dragon in the graveyard count. And then if... You can activate one of these effects. If you have three or more, you can activate both of them and resolve in sequence. Add one light machine time monster from your deck to hand, and target one light machine time monster from graveyard, shuffle that target in the deck. More than likely, you're going to do the uh, first one. Just being able to add Cyber Dragon, Galaxy Soldier, A, B, C, or Core. So, so much searching, so much different stuff you can do, and you can also search out a kaiju. I just have to say that mandatory, alright, we're playing Cyber Player Parent, you can search out this guy, he's a light machine type monster. I don't know, I don't know why people are freaking out with uh, kaijus and putting them in everything, like I understand they get rid of stuff, and I understand it's Hunt Index, it helps with making rank 8s or rank 7s, but we're not playing level 10s in this deck, so... Really not gonna help in this deck, and there isn't, like if we were playing against Gleeforts, yeah, I'd say... I'd say, yeah, put this guy in here if we were playing against Clear Forts and they had um, towers legal. But we don't, so I don't really see the point. Twin Twister is Twin Twister. And then uh, Brilliant Fusion kind of just already went over, just allows us to get more lights into the graveyard, be able to activate Cyber Repair, Panda, or Fusion Summon, or do whatever. And Uni Hanger I already went over, just gets rid of two cards from your deck. Now on to the extra deck, ABC Dragon Buster is a very interesting card. Because once per turn, doing it plus turn, discard a card, token one card your opponent controls, banish it. So it helps with getting rid of cards from your field, and it can be very... And it's also stun. It's both offensive and stun. It gets rid of a monster, and then you can attack for 3,000. Or, doing your opponent's turn, well, if they're going to go for an XE or a synchro, you can get rid of a card and just, just disrupt their combo. So, very, very great. And of course, if something were to happen to this card, you can tribute it, target three of your banished light machine type union monsters with different names, special summon them. So very, very useful. And hey, guess what? That triggers Union Hanger where you can equip more of them. So if you get out one of each and then make this guy and then tribute them and summon them back out, you can then equip the other three that are in your deck to these monsters. So that's definitely very, very great, very powerful. Because then they all get protected. And of course, you can then special summon them out during your turn if they're still equipped. Uh, Kameo Track just gains a thousand for each monster used for its fusion summon, and it's Cyber Dragon plus one or more machine type monster. So that can be a lot actually, you can actually get a pretty high special in the mirror match, which is why I think this deck is honestly going to be the better of the two builds, because of this card right here, just make a monster that has 4,000, 5,000 plus attack, and yeah, that can be kind of scary to issue down. Uh, Stephanie and I just get, it's a level 5, so it helps with making then Mayo, I guess, because that's the only rank 5 we really apply that you could use her for. Um, but gives you the extra normal summit, and that's what's important. And then here's the OTK Sentry card. This card is honestly low key, very powerful. Like, this card, a pure Cyber Dragon build that actually goes just for this card could actually be very devastating. It could honestly really. Like, I don't understand how this card isn't even meta. Um, unless people are playing Cyber Dragons with. ABCs, in which case it would be. But anyways, let me go over this guy. So when he's fusion summoned, he has two or more cyber dragons. And he pops cards, pops spell and trap cards up to the number of fusion materials used for its fusion summon. So more than likely you're gonna be using two, so that's two spell or trap cards, your opponent just says bye bye to. And he's a 42 beater when we fusion summon him with power bond, and that's the only way to summon him. So 42 attacker. Once per turn, send up to two light machine type monsters from your deck to graveyard, and if you do he gains one additional attack for each battle phase this turn. So he can attack three times.
times and he's a 42 beater and let me re read that again send up to two light machine type monsters two light machine type monsters so you should be able to then summon out abc buster dragon banish a card and then be able to attack for 3000 plus 12600 that's 15600 attack so you're gonna kill your opponent that, that's that's a lot and even in a pure cyber dragon build like i mean 12600 i mean i'm honestly half tempted to put together just like do some random testing with a pure cyber dragon build where i just run denko second it's just plop denko second activate power bond game like that's honestly a build that i'm thinking of just messing around with to see if it's at all competitive plop site plop denko second game cyber dragon infinity busted since it came out got neutered once um Talimos got banned but that's a good thing cyber dragon infinity so you can target one attack position monster on the field yours or your opponent equip it to him or not equip it to him it becomes material during either player's turn when a card or effect is activated detach one x-ray z material from this card and get the activation and if you do destroy it and of course you could use the guy juice to get over this and then can't negate it so i guess this is a good reason to play the guy juice but you could also in this in this build you could plop down cyber dragon and then just make him air attack that works. Um, and they can't negate Cyber Dragon Summon. Zemayo, I like Zemayo. He's detached one, pop two set cards on the field. Very great. Very great. Um, especially if you're trying to get over back row. Now, because all the ABCs are level fours, um, we are playing Utopia the Lightning, and of course Utopia again. More OTK centric cards. Pleiades, I didn't. I decided not to run two Infinity because that would have taken up another two cards in the extra deck. Decided just go for Pleiades. He's just as good, and if not better. Um, and then Cyber Dragon Nova, which can also help with making OTKs, because he can go up to 42, like you summon Core, and then you can uh, get off a search with Core, and then banish Core to make him 4200, and of course he can summon back out a Cyber Dragon from your graveyard. So that's a very great, so you can get a 42 plus a 2100, so that's four, that's 63 damage, that's definitely very good. Darker Villain, OTK centric, and then 101 gets rid of monsters, I guess that helps with OTK, and Castell does the same thing. And that is it with this deck. This deck is going like it's done a lot already. And again, I don't know exactly the different variants people are building, but this is a build that I think is very viable. Again, there's also the rank four build, and I could also see people playing metal foes, just splashing in metal foes, because you could, if you had Yingying Hanger, and then you summoned a B plus to Drake, you can then equip C Crush Wyvern. Activate the Metal Foes, pop Buster Drake, or whatever, and of course this the the Union Monster would be destroyed. Crush Raven would get his effect, and it could be a different way, of course. Um, and so you could then summon out like an A, and then you of course got a set of card with the Metal Foes, so you can then maybe either go for wing four play or whatever. Um, so you could take in the Metal Foes. I'm not sure if I would like it. I'd rather stay with the rank 4 build or the, I guess the rank 5 build, or the fusion build. That's just my opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later, bye.